Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. It is Friday, the 23rd day of November. It's National Cashew Day, National Eat a Cranberry Day, National Espresso Day, National Day of Listening, National Native American Heritage Day. It's also known as Black Friday. It's another thing that goes on today. It's all the shopping and stuff. Buy Nothing Day. That's the one I probably would celebrate. Flossing Day. Maze Day, like corn. And your welcome giving day. All of those things happening on this Friday, the 23rd. I've got a quote for today from Gloria Steinem. She says, Without leaps of imagination or dreaming, we lose the excitement of possibilities. Dreaming, after all, is a form of planning. I like that. Great quote. Got a super guest coming up today. For those of you who watched The Cosby Show growing up, you might remember a young lady that was on there. Her name on the show was Rudy. Her name in real life, Keisha Knight Pulliam. She's got a new movie coming out this weekend called Jingle Bell. It's going to be on Lifetime, and we're going to chat with her coming up later on today's program. Want to honor a veteran? Consider giving to Veterans Tickets Foundation, a national nonprofit who supports our currently serving military, veterans, and family members of those we've lost in action by providing them with free tickets to sporting events, concerts, performing arts, and family activities. Vet Tix is dedicated to giving back to those who gave us so much. Learn how you can help at vettix.org. Vettix, T I X. Org. Time now for Is It a Golf Course or Is It a Rehab Center? Heidi, are you ready for this one? I am ready. All right. From Dry Creek, I'm sorry, uh, from Cheyenne, Wyoming. Dry Creek in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Is that a golf course or is Dry Creek a rehab center? It's a golf center? course. Dry Creek is, in fact, a golf course. Good job. I was pretty confident on that one. That Why one didn't so sound confident? like a rehab center. To dry me. Creek? That could be a rehab center. Why would you name a rehab center Dry Creek? No, because it's a dry creek now. <laughs> no longer drinking. I don't know. You're right. It does make a better name for a golf course. <laughs> this is Ben. Is it a golf course or is it a rehab center? We're getting to the time of year where we start planning for holiday parties and other events that often include alcohol. I encourage you to have some alcohol-free options as well. And if you are drinking, be sure to have a designated driver. If you or someone you know has a problem with drugs or alcohol, there is help. Timeforrehab.com would love to connect you with someone who can be there for you or that loved one. If you feel like it's time to finally get the help you need, we're here for you. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. And this is your brain on drugs. A West Milford, New Jersey man was arrested for DUI after he told the police in Wayne, New Jersey, that he drank too much because, quote, the Jets suck, end quote. (laughs) Martin, uh, Larry Martin, said the 57-year-old, oh, so that was the captain. Okay, Captain Martin said Christopher Grayshock, the 57-year-old man, blamed the struggling football team for his overindulgence says uh, they were called to the scene when there was an accident. They found him there, first aid squad, attending to a woman who was injured lying in the grass. He approached the officers. He was unable to walk straight, almost falling onto the highway. He rear-ended a car. He smelled of alcohol. His breath elizer uh, was not good. He had liquid stains on his pants. He failed the test uh, and was arrested, searched three quarts, three-quarter-filled bottles of bourbon were in his vehicle. A joint as well, and a bag of marijuana. So well, then, he had quite the concoction. I guess so. Was not having a good day. But <laughs> that is what happens when your brain is on drugs. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen. Mira Sorvino says that in order for the hashtag Me Too movement to be effective, it has to do more than just quote name and shame people. And I agree with that. I mean, if if you you know. If you name and shame people, but they don't actually get punished, that's not good. Uh, but you also want to make sure that they're guilty before they're named and shamed. So I think that right. Absolutely. we still live in a country where it's innocent until proven guilty. So we got to be careful on that. Margot Robbie. Do you know who that is? Do you know? No. Th- okay. We watched a movie that she was in, the one about uh, the ice skater uh, that, what was that? What was that movie called? The one, Tanya Harding. Oh, okay. Remember that? So that was Margot Robbie. She told Harper's Bazaar magazine that she felt alienated and lonely when she dressed up as Queen Elizabeth for the new film that she's in. So when she was dressed as the queen, she felt alienated and lonely. Okay. And former Bachelor Chris Souls 
pled guilty to hit and run at an accident in Iowa that resulted in a man's death. That's really sad. He oh, re- yikes. He rear-ended a 66-year-old man who was driving a tractor. you got to be careful when you're driving. And if you're out in the country and you see, you know, if there's farm vehicles out there, they don't go fast. you got to be really, really careful. So that's a sad, sad thing. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Every day, approximately 23 U.S. military veterans take their own lives. Big Paws Canine Foundation is helping to decrease that number, providing service and companion dogs to our disabled veterans and first responders injured in the line of duty. Partnering a hero with a specifically trained dog significantly reduces the incidence of suicide, and your support makes all the difference. Find out how you can help our American heroes. Join the pack at BigPawsCanine.com. Now your scoop of the day brought to you by FreshPatch.com, promo code radio. Facebook has a new dating app, and they officially launched that in Canada. They say it's aimed at single people ages 18 and up. The company did not say if Facebook dating will come to the U.S. anytime soon. Here's the thing. Do you think that Facebook is a good place for a dating app? No. I don't think so either. I think that could be a bad thing. Although, if I were a single person, one, one of the first things I would do is try to find the person on Facebook. Oh, you? yeah, for sure. Look them up and see what they're yeah. like. But I, I know a lot of people personally that are on Facebook that are nothing like the way they pretend to be on Facebook. And So I I certainly wouldn't look there for like mm. the person of your dreams. Yeah, I don't know. I just think it's an interesting concept. Hasbro has created a new game called Monopoly for Millennials. They're now being trashed on Twitter by millennials who say the game is insensitive. So instead of buying houses, you get to live in your mother's basement. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just being silly. Okay. Now I'm being insensitive. I apologize. Hey, GiveThemBeer.com is selling a beer advent calendar that contains a month worth of beer. I've so, seen wine advent so calendars. You, I love that you idea. You peel open the little thing, the little door. I think it's a fantastic instead idea. Instead of it being candy, there's, di- there's different beers in there. Couldn't you just do that with like a case of beer? I think I mean, that's you really great. Need, I don't know if you really need that. Census Bureau estimates there are 1.5 million witches living in the United States. Okay. Wow. That's a pretty big number. 1.5 million witches living in the United States? I didn't realize there would be that many. A survey by the Census Bureau also found that 15% of unmarried millennial couples live together. 15% of unmarried millennial couples live together. The other 85% live with their parents. So the Census Bureau <laughs> Second millennial is here. asking people, are you a witch? Uh, apparently. And they're asking is that if, a, <laughs> if, you're that's living, a thing? if you're married and living together. <laughs> unmarried and living together. I don't know. Huh. I'm not with the Census Bureau. I have never even gotten a call from the Census Bureau. Have you? I think I did once. Have you really? Yeah. Were you honest with them or did you tell them you're a witch? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a witch. Excuse me, what do you do for a living? Occupation, um, witch. I'm a witch? <laughs> Fly around on a broom? That's probably what my ex-husband told me. I'm also, <laughs> I'm also unmarried and I live with someone. <laughs> Just in case you're going to ask that next. State of Florida is suing CVS Pharmacy because they say the company played a large role in creating the nation's opioid crisis. It'll be interesting to see how that goes. This is a weird story. Wildlife officials in Montana are trying to corral a group of deer that tested positive for brain-wasting disease. So they're trying to, you wouldn't think it'd be hard to corral them then, would it? But apparently it's tougher than you'd think. And this is a story that I think is really cool. German automaker Volkswagen... Volkswagen is planning to release their own fleet of electronic cars to compete against Tesla. Now, here's my question. I have seen in multiple places now where they have like an electric plug-in for Tesla vehicles mm-hmm. and it says, you know, electric car parking right. only. I actually saw one guy that had like a, a beat up old farm truck and just an orange cord hanging out of the hood. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. Because I pulled in, I was like, oh, i got to snap a photo of this. And then the guy came out, and I didn't want to take a picture while he was walking out. But I thought it was just brilliant. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't really plugged in. But my question is this. Would this Volkswagen electric car plug into the same outlet, do you think? Or would you need a separate outlet for that? Do you think you'd need a special connection? I don't know. I kind of wonder how that will work because, you know, they've got these uh, Tesla outlet things all over the place. I don't know if, they, if they'd if they be able to use that for other electric cars. If you have an electric car, you'll have to let me know. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on this Friday. Are you trying to find the perfect gift for someone with a good sense of humor? 
FunkyMonkeyShirts.com has a good selection of funny t-shirts and more. Some with Christmas themes. One that even replaces the ugly Christmas sweater for your next party. Find some silly shirts at FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. Also, learn how you can sell your own designs to make some extra Christmas cash. There's a link at the bottom of the page at FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. That's FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. Thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show. I have a special guest joining us right now, Keisha Knight Pulliam. You may remember her from The Cosby Show. She was the youngest actress ever to be nominated for an Emmy Award at just age six. Outstanding supporting actress in a comedy. We've got her on the line right now. We're going to talk about a new movie she's working on. How are you doing, Keisha? I'm doing great. And you? Very good. I feel like I know you because I've watched you ever since <laughs> you were like a little kid. So it's kind of weird for me to, to talk to you. Uh, it's it's awesome, though. You've got a new program called Jingle Bell. Let's talk a little bit about the new movie Jingle Bell. Yeah, Jingle Bell is going to be on Lifetime on the 25th, November 25th. And it's just, you know, getting in the spirit of that whole holiday feel-good movie. Um, it's a family movie. It was amazing cast to work with. Tatiana Ali, um, Tempest Bledsoe is actually in it. Uh, Valerie Pettiford, there's so many good people who in the movie. And it's one of those Christmas movies about family that you can watch year after year after year. So I'm really excited, and I can't wait for you all to see it. And I'm a big fan of Christmas movies. I love those. And I know you've been in a couple other Christmas movies as well. Are you kind of drawn to those as well? Yeah, I love Christmas movies. I feel like, you know, who, can, who doesn't like a good Christmas movie? You know, you sit down, they're warm and fuzzy. Um, it's something that you can enjoy with the family, and they're timeless. So it was a lot of fun making it, and I just hope that you guys enjoyed as much as we enjoyed making it. Well, again, Jingle Bell is the name of the movie that's coming out on the 25th. That's this Sunday. We'll be able to see that one on Lifetime. Now, let's talk about Medea Goes to Jail and Tyler Perry's House of Pain. You've had a chance to work on some really fun po- projects with Tyler Perry. What's it like to work with him? You know, I definitely enjoyed it. Um, it was amazing to not just be on, you know, one long-lasting series, The Cosby Show, but two with The House of Pain. That went on for five years, and it's in syndication everywhere. Um, and actually, Valerie Pettiford, who plays Tatiana, and I play sisters in this movie, she plays our mother. She played my mom on House of Pain. So, you know, it's that's it's fun. That's really cool. And then you went on to, to do Medea Goes to Jail, and that is such a hilarious movie. Uh, what, what did you think of working with Tyler on doing a, a fun movie like that? It was good. You know, I worked with Tyler for many years, for like five years between House of Pain and Medea Goes to Jail. I'm actually probably a little over that. So, um, you know, Tyler has an amazing machine that keeps pumping out great movies that people laugh at and enjoy time and time again. So it's it's a pleasure to be a part of the franchise. Well, that's really cool. Again, visiting right now with Keisha Knight Pulliam, and she's got a new movie coming out this Sunday. It's a Christmas movie. It's called Jingle Bell, and you can watch that on Lifetime. And I'm looking on the list here. I see you've got some other projects that are kind of in the works as well. My Brother's Keeper. Pride and Prejudice, Atlanta, and Redeemed. Is there anything we can talk about on any of those? Oh, well, Redeemed, we haven't started shooting Redeemed yet. Um, we're, we're about to start in a, about a week or so, so I'll be working right up until the holidays. But it's been a really, really great year, and I'm grateful to just be, you know, working and have great projects that are coming out and, you know, just getting an opportunity to continue to do what I love doing almost 40 years later, so... That's really cool. And and I love the fact that uh, you're, where you started was the Cosby Show. It was a, a very long-running series, and you were the youngest child of the Huxtables there. And then you had uh, Tyler Perry's House of Pain, which is another program that was very successful. It's really cool to, to go from one long-lasting series to another. In addition to that, you continually get picked for other great programs like Jingle Bell and, and the other movies that are coming out. Uh, you started as a child actress. You've proven yourself as an adult actress as well, haven't you? a long journey and it's been a great journey and I'm definitely grateful and appreciative at every turn. Well, we certainly appreciate you taking some time to chat with us about it today and Jingle Bell is coming out this Sunday. What should people expect with Jingle Bell? Just expect a really funny um, family movie that is definitely warm and fuzzy. Um, Amazing cast and it's something you'll definitely want to watch here. Well, again, it's coming out on Lifetime. It is this Sunday. I'll throw a link in the show notes to make it easy to find. It's called Jingle Bell, and our guest today has been Keisha Knight-Polium. Keisha, thank you so much for taking the time to chat. Thank you so 
much, and happy holidays. Happy holidays to you as well. Keisha Knight-Pulliam has been our guest today. Jingle Bell this Sunday on Lifetime. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. If you want to grow your business, you can add more customers or sell more stuff to your current customers or a combination of both. There's no other way to grow your business. Just those two. Add more customers or sell more stuff to your current customers. And if you already have a relationship with your customers and you have their email address, you can reach out to them with special offers to easily grow your sales and you'll make your customers even happier. Let the experts at Constant Contact help. Get a free trial now. Text Radio Trial to number 22828. That's Radio Trial, all one word, to number 22828. John and Heidi. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? It says here... Baby puffins are called pufflings. 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 Yeah, pufflings. So if you're a baby puffin, you're a puffling. Now, I want to take a second here because I was ribbing the millennials in our last break. And I just want to make sure that you understand that was it was all in fun. <laughs> I'm, I'm just being silly. I'm not trying to be insensitive. And I hope it didn't come across as insensitive. Because my generation is not perfect either. You just should saying. hear him when the mic's off. Oh, He's trashing no, you. No, I'm not. <laughs> I have many, many friends. I've got a couple of children that fall in there. So I love millennials. I just want to make sure you know I was just being silly. It was all just for a chuckle. And it worked. I chuckled a lot. <laughs> so right. did I. I. Thanks for listening awesome. to the John and Heidi Show. Freshpatch.com is making dogs like me happy. They send out real grass pads for us to use indoors. Now when it's cold outside, I can go inside. And when I've used up the real grass patch, the mailman brings me a new fresh patch. It's the best idea since doggy treats. Convince your mommy to try it today. I suggest you try puppy dog eyes. Freshpatch.com. Use promo code radio to save 10%. That's freshpatch.com. Promo code radio. Time now for today's grandiloquent word, bumbershoot. Bumbershoot. It's a fun one to say. Try it, Heidi. Bumbershoot? Yeah, you said it wrong. Bumbershoot. B-U-M-B-E-R-S-H-O-O-T. What do you think bumbershoot is? I have no idea. It is an umbrella or parasol, especially an old-fashioned one. A bumbershoot. A device consisting of a circular canopy of cloth on a folding metal frame supported by a central rod used as protection against rain or sometimes sun. Bumbershoot. That is a much funner way to say, a uh, much funner thing to say than umbrella. I agree, and I don't believe funner is a word. Funner. It's much more funner. <laughs> it is more bumbershootier. Uh, bumbershoot. That's a cool word. I want to I try to remember that because I usually forget these, but next time it's raining and I see somebody, I'll say, oh, I see you have a bumbershoot, <laughs> and then they'll hit me with it. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi show. That almost sounds like you're talking about somebody. It does. It sounds inappropriate. I don't know. Maybe I won't say that. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi show on a Friday. Want to honor a veteran? Consider giving to Veterans Tickets Foundation, a national nonprofit who supports our currently serving military, veterans, and family members of those we've lost in action by providing them with free tickets to sporting events, concerts, performing arts, and family activities. VetTix is dedicated to giving back to those who gave us so much. Learn how you can help at VetTix.org. VetTix, T-I-X dot O-R-G. Now some weird news for you on a Friday. A lost tourist was found wandering in Edinburgh and claimed to have no memory of who he was or how he got there and has admitted to faking his amnesia now to avoid his nagging mother-in-law. Oh my gosh! (laughs) He's 52 years old. Salvatore Manino was found by police, very confused state, suffering, quote, from memory loss. His disappearance from his native Pisa soon raised suspicion when concerned Italian police tracked his searches on his computer, which showed that he looked up terms like how to disappear (laughs) and how to fake memory loss. (laughs) The father of four was uh, was forced to drop his facade, admitting to British police that I did it to get away from my nagging mother-in-law. He stated, I never lost my memory. I wanted to show my family I was important to them. I wanted to regain my position as a husband and a father, and I felt my mother-in-law had taken that from me. It was revealed that he had been charged by Italian police for abandonment. So that Imagine is... the nagging he got when he got <laughs> home after that little stunt. What a bizarre story. <laughs> that is just it's that hilarious. is just so bizarre. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Friday. John and Heidi. Time now for your moment of duh. A Virginia man is wanted in three jurisdictions. He was arrested Monday. Actually, it was like last Monday. After striking ten vehicles... 
And then he climbed onto the roof of a Five Guys restaurant hiding in their air conditioning unit. What a weird story. It says here he was uh, multiple vehicle accidents near a Bank of America. They determined the driver of a Ford pickup truck hauling a trailer holding another pickup truck had crashed into these vehicles, four of which were occupied when struck. Both of the pickup trucks returned stolen. Four subjects were transported to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. After striking the vehicles, a man who was intoxicated scaled a metal pipe next to a building, climbed onto the roof of a restaurant, and tried to hide in their air conditioning unit. He was wanted on th- in three different jurisdictions for other things. Not exactly the smartest dude. Do you seriously think they're not going to, if they see you climb up there and hide in the unit, they're going to like, well, he got away. I guess he's gone for good. Never going to get, never ever going to be able to catch that guy. No, you just got yourself in more trouble. Bad, bad idea. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Every day, approximately 23 U.S. military veterans take their own lives. Big Paws Canine Foundation is helping to decrease that number, providing service and companion dogs to our disabled veterans and first responders injured in the line of duty. Partnering a hero with a specifically trained dog significantly reduces the incidence of suicide, and your support makes all the difference. Find out how you can help our American heroes. Join the pack at BigPawsCanine.com. Time now for Fake News or Florida. This is a little segment of the show where we ask my beautiful bride to guess, is this a true story that happened in the great state of Florida, or is it made up just for our amusement? Are you All ready? right, I am ready. Right, tell me, a naked man started a house fire while baking cookies on his George Foreman grill. Fake News or Florida? We actually read this one, and it was Florida. Really? I don't remember that. Yeah, we How did. in the world did I forget that? <laughs> we did because we laughed and laughed. And like, can you imagine? Can't even imagine. <laughs> Starting your house on fire, Who bacon cookies. cookies. I don't know. We did uh. just recently watch. <laughs> for those who've never seen the Impractical Jokers, oh my goodness, they are so funny. And there was an episode where they had to. One of them had to take a George Foreman grill in an office, <laughs> yeah. and cook meat I while he was that talking to show. people. I thought that was really funny. Anyway, I do have the story. There's a link to it if you'd like to read it. In the show notes at johnandheidyshow.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. And I know there's a lot of people that will be traveling, some that have already been traveling because of Thanksgiving, but others that will be traveling because of this other holiday coming up called Christmas, others who travel because of Hanukkah, others that travel because of Kwanzaa, and many other holidays that are coming up. So if you're traveling, whether for holidays or just because you travel, this might maybe potentially cheer you up a little bit. There's a video, and I have a link to the video, we're not going to play it on the radio, of a flight attendant amusing safety announcement that left passengers in stitches. In this story, uh, they talk about this guy. Uh, his name is Daniel. Oh, my f- computer here. Come we, on. We watched this, yes, didn't we? we did watch he it. He is hilarious. Daniel Sandberg is being hailed as the world's funniest flight attendant. This was on Southwest Airlines, He put a, a, an amusing spin on an ordinary in-flight safety announcement. A Frontier Airlines flight attendant. Oh, Frontier. Yeah, he took advantage of the three-minute instructional routine to entertain the 150 passengers on board a Colorado Springs flight. His jokes included a gem that followed the oxygen mask tutorial. And let's be honest, only those of you who paid the extra forty nine ninety nine will get any oxygen. <laughs> uh, 55-year-old Cindy Coons captured the wisecracks on video. She was just one of the many flyers who erupted into applause after the comedic stunt was over. <laughs> it was very, very funny. And the video has gone viral. It's all over the place. You may have already seen it. If you have it, it is definitely worth taking a few minutes to take a look at it, especially if you've got a few minutes. You know, Some people have the day off today, Heidi. Wouldn't that be nice? No. I have a slave be. driver for yes, a boss. Yes, I make so. you come in and do this every single day that I can. <laughs> uh, but I do have a link to the video if you'd like to watch it. And I guarantee you, if, if you don't laugh, if you don't chuckle a little bit, you might want to check your pulse because it's funny stuff. It's good stuff. And uh, very amusing, especially if you need to travel. Uh, if you're going to be traveling, you might need a chuckle. <laughs> it's, That's this is for not sure. A, travel not has not time. been no. 
And it's not always a good time of year to do that. Yeah. So, time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. I do have a link to this good news in our show notes at johnandheidyshow.com.